Hey everybody, it's Kristen. So I decided to do a quick video on how I make my shakes because I have a lot of people asking me. Um, I am sort of like a self-prescribed um, lactose intolerant. So I just prefer not to put any dairy. I actually don't really eat any dairy in my, my diet. If I do even eat cheese, it's like the vegan cheese diet. Yeah. Anyhow, so with my shake, I don't even put almond milk or anything because I'd rather not drink away my containers and my calories. <clears throat> I'd rather use that for something else. So I've got about probably around, to I would say I'll usually about 12 or 13 ice cubes. And then I've got, oh, I don't know, liters, hold on. Then I have about 12 to 16 ounces of water. So it's probably 12, and then the, but the ice cubes make it look like 16. So then I already put my scoop of um, my chocolate vegan Shakeology. So I've got my scoop in there, so I'll do this. So I always want the shake powder to be on the middle. So then my next step I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put half an avocado I know it sounds weird, right? But half an avocado, it just makes the chocolate like even more creamy. Or even if you use vanilla or strawberry, it just makes it more creamier. So let me put that in. Hold on. Okay, so I put half of it in. See? Scraped it out pretty good. So half an avocado. And I'm actually this time gonna put half of a half of like a medium banana. Um, I totally missed my morning snack, so I'm just gonna throw that in there. And then you're just going to whip it up. Okay, so it's done. I know when it's done when I no longer hear like it sort of crunching and it just sort of like just swooshes it all up. So sometimes I get it to be a little bit more watery, but I think I probably just put more ice cubes and not, and not enough water. So it just depends on how you like it. If you like it more like a smoothie, where you can actually taste the ice, perfect. If not, then put a little bit of less ice. But that's the way I like it. I'm all good to go. So there's my Shakeology. What I do, sometimes I'll put PB2. Sometimes I'll actually put regular peanut butter. You could put coffee in there. Uh, you can do like pumpkin puree for the holidays, pumpkin spice, you know, if you want to add a little coconut oil, that's always good too. There's, you know, endless, just endless ways to make this. So, but I just know I like it with my ice and ice cubes, or my ice cubes and water, and then do whatever else after. So hopefully you guys enjoy.